today we are on Tyler and I've remade my account so we can do this together. It's been a while since I took this and the last time I did I got Hogwarts and I'm pretty sure my Pichurus was a horse. I think it was a mare. It could have been a stallion. I think it was, it could have been a white one. I think it was a white mare. And then, I don't remember my wand. And then, over morning, I got horned serpent last time. So, let's get on with this. We're gonna skip the Sorting Hat story. Dawn or Dusk? I like Dusk more, because the night time is best. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothy, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The thistic, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. I get sick off of chocolate most of the time, so I might not pick that one. The golden liquid is so bright that it hurts the eye, and which makes sunspots dance all around the room. The mysterious black liquid that Gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Uh, let's not do that one. Ah, let's go with this one. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, merpeople, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, trolls. Now, <laughs> I, I feel weird if I would say werewolves, because that's like, I'm just standing there staring at Remus whenever he turns into a werewolf and I, I, it just makes me feel like a bad person. So we're not going to do werewolves. Um, mer people are interesting. I really like mer people. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary? True? Ignorant? Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't really be bothered by that. Cowardly, wouldn't be bothered by that. Selfish, wouldn't be bothered by that. So we're gonna go with ordinary. Which road tempts you the most? The wide, sunny, grassy lane? The narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley? The twisting, leaf-strewn path through the woods? The cobbled street lined with ancient buildings? Um... The twisting leaf strewn path because I quite like the woods, I'm not gonna lie. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Now, I'm just gonna pick Tabby Cat because I have a Tabby Cat. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these items? Ugh! Objects! Eh, same difference. From the Trolls Club if you could. Uh, first, a neatly perfected cure for dragon pots. Then, soothing records going back a thousand years. Finally, a mystery, mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Now, is this just gonna change the order? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this one because I find the nearly perfect perfected cure for dragon pox pox oh, can't speak is very important. And then student records would also be very important. So say someone is missing or something and you have student records to help you figure out what could have happened and stuff, so we're gonna go with this. Ancient, strange runes, those could be anything, I really don't care. Left or right? I'm just gonna go with what hand I used to write this, so I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff? Oh jeez, I was a Gryffindor last time. Oh, Hufflepuffs can be brave. And they're loyal. 
do the research about if, like, there's certain personality types that match with horses. Because then I will actually, uh, dream discovered it, dream. Warm, cold, uh, warm. Think, feel, sense, uh, think. I hate 
angels, though. What would you exchange for your heart's desire? Anything? Uh, no. That which I can afford to lose. Blood, sweat, and tears. that could save but it's a 
can't. Yeah, we'll go with the chance of saving a thousand lives. Thunderbird. And I believe this one is the house closest resemblance, with the closest resemblance to Gryffindor. Which, I'm not that surprised that I got it this time instead of Horned Serpents. I think I was, <laughs> I was in a sassy kind of mood when I got Horned Serpents. But, wow. Okay, so I'm a Hufflepuff and a Thunderbird. But my true Hogwarts house is Gryffindor and it always will be. Because I have gotten this that house like 10 times. I have done this quiz so many times. Each time I got Gryffindor, except the one time I got Ravenclaw. And that was like last year. But like two times after that I got Gryffindor, so. Well, I'll accept that I have Hufflepuff qualities. I have qualities in each house. Because I am an absolute nerd. I love books. I love reading. I just enjoy learning in general. I pride myself on gaining knowledge. So, that would give me some Ravenclaw qualities. I'm clever, sneaky. I sure want to call the Beatrix Slytherin. I'm not going to lie. It's not, I'm just, I'm a little more out there. There are some really cool Slytherins. They like, I know some Slytherins that like to party and stuff, but you, you got it. If you go into a party, you're going to see some Gryffindors getting down and dirty. But, yeah. I'm amongst the Gryffindor crowd because I'm loud and <laughs> I am a very loud person. But that's okay. That's okay. Alright. I think this concludes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment telling me what house you are in. And I would love to hear about it. Or just like, just give me the answers that you got for all four of these. I would love to see your answers, and I hope I'm not alone on getting different houses when I redo the quiz. 